Here's a really efficient way to produce a pheasant tail body and tail. It's best done on a hook size 12 and smaller, and you need to have fairly long pheasant tail fibers to start. Pull down 6 to 8 fibers perpendicular to the stem, then pull the stem away to strip them free. Snip off the little curlies. If the butts are aligned, the tips generally are too. Measure to form a tail a hook shank or less in length. Anchor the fibers to the top of the hook shank, then lift them up and toward you as you wrap rearward to keep the fibers on top of the shank. If you have too many fibers for the tail, snip a few off before wrapping to the start of the hook bend. Lay a piece of wire against the near side of the hook and secure it with thread wraps up the shank. Keep taking forward wraps to what will be the front end of the body. Pull back on the fibers, bringing them to the near side of the hook. Take rearward thread wraps to secure them there. Wrap to the base of the tail. Begin wrapping the fibers up the hook shank, but behind your tying thread. This will help to keep them sandwiched together. Angled wraps like this cover more real estate and produce a slender body on the fly. Anchor the fibers well, then snip the excess off close. Counter wrap with the wire to protect the fibers below. Secure the wire, then complete the fly. 